Good morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a great Tuesday. Uh, like I said yesterday, I just didn't get a video put out for Monday morning, so I apologize. But once in a while, I don't think it's going to be too bad that I miss a day of doing a video. But at any rate, I thought long and hard what video I wanted to wanted to do for today. And with yesterday being the day that Davy Allison, 27th anniversary of Davy Allison's passing, I thought it would be nice to just kind of do a little bit of a tribute video here. And this will be the uh, part of my From the Vault series, as I like to call it, where I just pull cards out from my collection. And and we'll, we'll get, you know, a particular driver. We've already done Richard Petty, some cards of his that I've got. We've already done Daryl Waltrip. This will encompass most of my Davy Allison collection. I've got a couple other cards scattered here and there. And they're mostly going to be base set cards, so we'll go through those pretty quickly. This is part of the Finish Line Racing Preview set from 93. There's a lot of cards in this set, and it's numbered. There's 15 cards in that set. It just kind of gives you a little bit of the bit on the front there. So this would have been one of Davy's wins from 92. It looks like Michigan in June of 92. There's Davy. I believe that's with his, uh, maybe his son. I think his son was younger, Robbie. It's either Robbie or Krista, his daughter. But it's not really commenting much there. Davy with his trademark hat that he always used to wear. Got a few couple of those. This is a 93 finish line of Davy, so this was during the 92 season. Davy had a really successful 92 season with five wins, several pole positions, finishing third in the final standings. He also won the All-Star race that year for the second year in a row. He was the first person to win back-to-back All-Star races. This is 94 power, so this is obviously after Davy's passing. I like the back of it, just kind of uh, gives you a little bit of information of Davy there. This is a 93 action packed. Bobby Davy, Davy's mom, Judy, and then Liz Allison, his wife. Another 93 action packed. Davy Allison, a couple of them there. Really nice car. This is always a very iconic car. Of course, later Ernie Irvin and Ricky Rudd and Kenny Irwin as well would drive this car. But the number, the uh, font on the 28 would be different. So this is looks like it's at Rockingham. That would be my best guess. Another one with Davey looking inside his car. I'm not sure what's going on there, but probably just checking some adjustments during practice or qualifying. Another 93 action pack. Obviously recognizing the top 10 and 92. Always like that uniform with the opposite colors on the opposite corners. It just made for a unique design, very iconic for Davey. Of course, they changed that up when Ernie Irvin took over. Ernie ran an all-black uniform in late 93, and then 94, it was just kind of a, you had a, a or, or the yellow shoulder, and then the red came at an angle, and then the black came at the rest of it. So they changed the number, and they changed the design. This looks like a victory at uh, Daytona, maybe, the Daytona 500 of 92. There's another one. Of course, 7-Up was an associate sponsor on their team, which was one of the sponsors of the Olympics in 92. Looks like Bobby and his mom in victory lane, probably at the Daytona 500. We have Davy and his son. We have several of those appears. Always like the 92 Acker Finit Pro Set. 92 Pro Set was always a nice clean card. There you see Davy winning. The looks like the Coke 600. That was back when it was still a, a day race. 92 Max Red. Looks like he's sitting in the back of the hauler there. Have a couple of those. 92 Max Red Victory Lane race number 12. So it's probably Michigan or Sears Point. That was a rather crazy win. You need to go back and throw that in your YouTube machine. Uh, uh, type in the 1991 Sears Point or 1991 Save Mart 300 finish. Check that one out. That's a pretty good finish. This race number 14, so this would be Michigan. We have a couple of those. There's his win in the Winston. The last time that the Winston was run in the daytime, 1991, kind of an overcast day. They did, prior to the Winston, run the first Winston Legends race. 
with former NASCAR champions and legend drivers from the past. That is a very, very interesting little race run on the quarter mile track on the front stretch at Charlotte. So go check that one out. Just type in 1991 Winston Legends race, race number 10. Hmm, I guess that's the Coke 600 again, so we're right there. This is the track's preferred collector. Not sure where I ended up with this card or how I acquired it, but it's in my collection. So I do enjoy that one. Got a couple of the McDonald's racing cards, and I don't know if my Junior Johnson makes a guest appearance, but we're going to bail him out here to the side. Don't know how I, I... I've seen these listed before in the Beckett. They're not, you know, really high price, but it's a unique card. The Deco. Not sure what company this was or who Deco is, but they made some nice cards. This is the cover card to that 93 finish line preview set. So it just kind of gives you a little bit of information there about Davey. And it kind of has that cracked ice look on some of these, so I do appreciate that. Davey Allison. A few more cards here. I'm not going to go real into detail on some of these, because a lot of these you've seen in prior videos when I've opened up some, like, 91 tracks. Sunbelt, that's a nice card. Don't remember a lot about that company. Here's a 92 tracks, Davey Allison. So like I said, you've seen the 91 tracks before, so I'm going to kind of float over those real quick. We've already seen those Max in the red version. The black version just has a gold foil. Here's a Rookie Thunder, 1993. This is actually a short print card. Number is SP2. I believe there's a Terry Labonte card that's also within that same uh, set. I think it was maybe five cards that were short printed in that set. Got a couple other small stacks that I'm going to go through here. So here see uh, Robert Yates Racing, Davey there in the center, right there, 92 Daytona 500 win. Almost looks like the same picture that they had on the Max card earlier, but it's not. So we're going to skim through some of these Max cards. We've seen a lot of those, just like I said, in red version. So I've bought several uh, boxes of Max over the years. That's why I have so many of those. Then we have the uh, Texaco set. This was a Texaco exclusive set produced by Max, I believe it was. Let's see here. Yeah, Max race cards. So it covered all the people that were instrumental in the 2018. There you see Robert Yates, Larry Mack, and the whole crew. This would be the Over the Wall crew, or the Race Day crew, I should say. Here's their win in, uh, looks like Darlington, or I'm sorry, North Carolina Most Speedway. So that's Rockingham. AC Delco 500, that's going to be the spring race. Here's a Press Pass Legends card. I always like these uh, Legends cards that the uh, more recent years that the card companies have done. This would be about 2007, 8, somewhere along in there. 93 Max Premier Plus, which is a higher end set back in the day. I do have a, an unopened box of 94 Max Premier Plus, but don't really see myself opening it anytime soon. There's a 98 Max 10th Anniversary in the 91 Max design. Another one of those eight, uh, 98 Max in the 89 Max design. Of course, Davies Rookie is 88 Max. There's a 92 design of the Max 5th Anniversary. 93 Rookie Thunder there. First career win, 1987 Winston 500. Of course, that race was also uh, the site of Bobby Allison's spectacular crash the race that eventually led to restrictor plates at Daytona and Talladega. So you want to see a really wicked crash, type in Bobby Allison 1987 Winston 500 crash. That was the crash that could have changed the course of NASCAR history altogether. It did have a, uh, a, a, an impact that is felt today. And, of course, they don't run the plates anymore. They run the tapered spacers, but they still do have to try to keep the cars under 200 miles an hour at those tracks. Here, I believe this is 04 VIP. Yes, 04 VIP. Just kind of a Legends card there. Davey with his uh, famous hat. And Davey was the first NASCAR driver that I ever got to meet in person and get an autograph from. Here you see these are 1998 Press Pass Retro, 50th anniversary, and they uh, basically chronicled the 50 greatest drivers in NASCAR that they had uh, decided on at that time. NASCAR made a list of 50 greatest drivers. Press Pass did the... Uh, set and it's a really really nice subset or I guess it's a, a supplement to the base set because the base set was a hundred cards then you had uh, cards 101 through 150 which would be the 
supplement cards. This one, the number's hard to read. It looks like it's 135. So lots of NASCAR greats in that set here. 91 Max, uh, Davies win at Bristol in 1990s. There you see Bobby Allison there with him in the picture. This was a really, really good finish with Mark Martin. Uh, check that one out too. 1990 uh, Valleydale meets 500 finish. Check that out. That was actually, watch the whole race. It was a really, really good race altogether. Ernie Irvin's first career pole, ironically, as well. Davy Allison, this would be uh, Pontiac Excitement 400, so this would be Davy's final career win right here, 1993 at Richmond, because this is a 1994 Wheels High Gear card, so this would be Davy's final career win at Richmond in uh, February of 1993, there you see race 26, so that's going to be Charlotte Motor Speedway, the 1990 Mellow Yellow 500. That was his second win of the year, 87, 88, 89, and 90. Davey only won two races. Then in uh, 91, 92, he had five race tears in both of those years. We have an 04 Press Pass Optima fan favorite, Davey Allison, just kind of signing some autographs. 93 Max, one of my favorite sets. Here he is. He won in Michigan in 92. I was, uh, I was at that race. Wasn't that exciting of a race as I recall. Um, a lot of Michigan races in that era were just fuel mileage races. Here we have race number one, Daytona again. There you see Larry McReynolds, Davey Allison, and Robert Yates, winning crew chief driver and car owner for the 92 Daytona 500. 92 Winston 500, so this is what put Davey Allison in place to win, to have an opportunity to win the Winston Million. There was uh, four crown jewel events if you won three of the four. Winston provided the driver a million dollar bonus. Davey won two of those four and did get a $100,000 bonus. So here you have a, an Indy tire test card. In 1992, Davey was one of, I believe, eight or nine drivers that was asked by NASCAR to come to Indianapolis to do a Goodyear tire test. This was the only time Davey got to uh, run at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And you see the back of the, that card. Of course, Davey passed before the cars came back in 93 in August of 93 to do that test. And they had Lake Speed in the car. So it's, it's a shame that Davey didn't get to race at Indy. I think it would have been a good track for him. Here you have a 90 or a 05 press pass snapshots. We have another one of those tire test cards. So looks like we're getting into a lot of repeats here. We have an 07... Press Pass, Legends, Davey Allison, more of those, 93 tracks, I'd like to get me a box of those. Those just those just scream 1990s right there, that bright pink with that splash of color at the bottom. Looks like we have more of these uh, cracked ice type. This is just, uh, these two I picked up in Tennessee. I wouldn't call them bootleg cards, they're just not authorized um, by any particular company. But they're just kind of nice cards. I got a couple of Alan Quickie as well that I've got in my collection. So you see more 93 Max here, different races, Davey won in 93. Excuse me. A lot of 93 Max cards there. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video here. Got some 94 Max. I like this one, this is actually an insert. Rookie of the Year, Max Rookies of the Year. So we got a few more 94 Max. Davey was IROC champ in 93 posthumously. Of course, Terry Labonte drove the last race for him at Michigan and helped clinch the title for him. Here's 94 tracks. 94, uh, not pro set, uh, power. Then we have an insert here of 94 finish line. A couple of those. Might be 93, 94-ish. Here's some 94 Max Premier Plus, 94 Finish Line. Then we have, looks like we're going to wrap up with some tracks from 93. So a lot of nice cards here. This is pretty much all the Davy Allison cards that I have. I might have a few more scattered about. I do know I have a couple of uh, relic cards I've picked up on eBay over the years. But, you know, with Davy's passing being yesterday, I thought it would just be fun to share with you guys uh, some good times that Davy had in the sport and... He was such an instrumental figure 
Had Davy not passed, who knows what accolades he might have achieved, but he did win 19 races. He did win Rookie of the Year. He was a Daytona 500 winner and had several, several just other... He was just a fan favorite and just an all-around great guy. So it was been 27 years ago yesterday. Very sad to see Davy uh, pass the way he did. But, uh, you know, we've uh, we just have to remember him for who he was and what he accomplished in a short period of time. So I do appreciate you guys watching. Hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday, and we will back, be back later this evening. We'll go ahead and open up those five packs of the 2020 Tops Baseball that I have sitting over there on the left-hand side. So hope you enjoyed this video. See you again later this evening. Have a great day.